As you know, I'm Kaimson the Genius, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to plot in Python right from the basics all the way to the advanced. So I've laid out about 12 different topics that we are going to cover in this series. So in part one, we are going to cover one to six, and then in part two, we are going to cover seven to 12. So I recommend you subscribe to my channel. Please just click on the subscribe button below this video so that you'll be able to follow from beginning to end. Also, if you subscribe, you motivate me to continue making these lessons. If you have any comments or any challenges, feel free to leave me a comment in the comment box below. If you have some friends that will benefit from this lesson, please share this video around as well. So let's get started. Uh, plotting in Python is quite easy and interesting. So we have the procedures in my website, kindsandthegenius.com, and you can see the link to this page in the description box below this video. So you can see, uh, you can always go to any of the parts that you would like to you would like to start with if you know some of them. But if you're a beginner, I recommend you start from right from the introduction. And you have this notebook can also be available for you right in the description box below this video. So these are the procedures. Feel free to follow it uh, step by step if you want. And that is exactly what we are going to be doing today. So let me go ahead to close this. This is what we are going to do, but I'm going to be teaching you how to do these things yeah, we're, go we're going to be talking about uh, basic plotting, properties of a line, formatting your plots, pie plot functions. We take three examples, plotting a heart, figure eight, uh, the figure eight, the loss polynomial, then working with subplots, scatter plots, histogram, and then bar plots. So this is really going to be interesting. And let's get started. So let me put away this so that we can start right from the scratch. So the first thing you want to do is to simply go to new and choose Python 3 so that you can start from a clean notebook. So I'm going to just click here and give it a name of uh, plotting, plotting part one, part one, perfect. So the first thing you always need to do is to import the necessary model. So the first model you need to import in plot for plotting is called matplotlib dot pi plots. So normally you'll give it an alias uh, that is very short so that you don't have to be uh, using the full name every time you need to use it. Another another model you'll need to import is numpy. So numpy is for arithmetic operations. Numpy as np and then import maths. Math, yeah, we'll be using it for maybe a few things as well. So normally after writing the import statement, I like to click on run to make sure there is no error. So let's take the first part, and this is basic plotting. If you want, you can read some of the theories if you want. If not, just follow along in this lesson. So the first thing you want to do is to learn how to create an array of numbers. An array is more like the list of numbers or the data, data set you want to use for the plotting. So in this case, we are using numbers from minus six to four. So let me say x equal to, and close in square brackets, minus six. Later on, I'm going to show you how to write this in a very shorthand form. So I have minus two, then I have zero, one, two. And then, so this is an array of x values, and then let's create an array of y values so this is 1, 2, minus 1, or 1, minus 4, 3, 2, all right? Again, I like to run it to make sure everything works fine and everything works fine. So now we simply say plt.plot and simply specify x and y. And then you say plt.show. So at this point, we can just click on run. Now we we'll have, okay, so uh, let's see. So we have an error somewhere. We have, okay, so it, it tells us X and Y must have the same dimension. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, one, two. So we have zero, six, okay, so it has to be the same number of elements on both sides. So I think I made a mistake. So I'm going to just take out minus six, minus five, minus two, zero, one, two, three. So maybe I'll add one more here. 
So at this point, if I run this and then run this, you have this plot exactly the way you have it in my website. So this procedure is very easy to follow. Let's quickly do a, another one. This is example two this time. So let's see how it goes. So we have, at this point, I'm simply going to copy it and paste. But for you, I recommend you type it out by yourself. So I'm going to just say paste. And I'm going to run it as well. So you have the same code we have here. So the basic thing is to generate a list of values and then use plt.plot, specify x and y, basically the variables that you created. Now, how do we make this curve to be smooth? Uh, unfortunately, in Python, you don't have any particular function or method to create a smooth curve. For instance, something like smooth plots. There is nothing like that. So to make your plot smooth, you need to generate a large number of values. So in this case, we are generating 300, uh, 300, 200 data points ranging from minus 3 to plus 3. So I'm going to just copy it and paste and then we see how it works. All right, so I'm going to also run it. So you can see we have a smooth curve at this point. So simply because we have a larger number of data points to play with. All right, so I'm going to stop here, and then in the next class, uh, in the next lesson, we are now going to see how to beautify or how to modify or format or plot to look good. Again, I'd like to recommend you subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. And also feel free to leave me a comment if you have any challenges following my lessons. I remain kind and the genius, and I'm always there for you.